these guys have made a decision evolutionarily to hitch their lives to fish species. And probably because the fish are more mobile, they can move around and they can get better dispersal, that these guys can't survive, they can't reproduce unless their larvae attaches to a fish. If they lose that fish, if dam blocks it, if the fish is extirpated, all of a sudden that muscle is a dead end evolutionarily. And so that's part of the reason a lot of species are threatened. What we want to do is establish a baseline this year. Get out and survey the freshwater mussels this year. Come back in subsequent years to hopefully see that the freshwater mussel populations are benefiting from this dam removal because we're providing their fish hosts. We're bringing fish back, migratory fish, American eels, American shad, alewife, blueback herring. By bringing these important migratory fish back to the Pollenskill River, we are hopefully jump-starting the reproduction of these key freshwater mussels in, in the Pollenskill River. But they are very important in doing that. They, they're an ecosystem uh, uh, service that provides uh, cleaner water for all of us, for drinking water, for other fish uh, and animal populations in the system. And they also are a key part of the biodiversity in the system. They provide food for animals such as muskrats, otters, uh, a key part of taking energy in the system and transferring it up the food web. <laughs> um, I loved it. It was really interesting. Uh, the, the water was nice and warm for the most part, and we uh, right. really got our really eyes adjusted to what the muscles ago. looked like, you know? And um, it was a new perspective, something that I hadn't seen before, to be actually in the river with a snorkel. So. This is the first time that we've tried putting volunteers in wetsuits and a mask and snorkel on them and, th and throwing them in a river. We're going to test this method here and see how well it does, but certainly there are conservation issues with freshwater mussels throughout the Delaware River watershed. Some populations are doing okay, other populations are really struggling, other populations may be entirely extirpated. We are experimenting with this idea of using volunteers to help bolster the full data collection. So we would love to expand this and use this in other places. We're going to see how well this goes, uh, but, but it is encouraging. We've had a very strong response. I've never snorkeled in the river before. The uh, water was very clear and it was cold. Very refreshing. This project was funded by the Lower Delaware Wild and Scenic River Management Council, overseen by the Delaware River Greenway Partnership, and by a grant from the National Park Foundation through the Coca-Cola Company and the Coca-Cola Foundation.